Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Aset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to someone else who may like it too. And don't forget to leave us a positive comment in the comment section. Now, today I'm going to do a review of the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. Now, this was not gifted to me. I bought this deck with my own money, paid for shipping and everything. And the only reason why I'm doing a review of it is because I love it. <laughs> Whenever you see me do a review of a deck that, you know, it wasn't like a collaboration, it's just because I love the deck. So I've been using this all day long. So these cards are not in order. But I need to show you guys this deck. If you have not seen this deck... I don't know what you're doing with your life. <laughs> Maybe you're doing something important, right? But uh, yeah, it, after doing important things, this is the next thing you should do. Uh, this deck is beautiful. I mean, seriously. And you're going to see that. Um, there's a lot of details. I'm pulling it as close as I can to you. Okay, guys. There's a lot of details in it. As you can see, the butterflies and the fairy lights in the background. It, this is a beautiful deck. Um, as I went through the deck, I didn't see... I saw some... There is some diversity. You're going to see that. Um, the people that look like they're from different places in the world. Um, so there is some diversity. There's men. There's women. There's some younger people in here. Some older people in here. But the ages don't seem to go that high. Um... The people in here, like I said, you know, the age is being different. I, I don't think they're that old. So we're going to look through here right now and we're going to see how old, <laughs> how old the oldest person looks, because that's the only thing I would like to see. I would like to see more um, older people, more crone energy, masculine or feminine uh, represented in tarot. And we don't see a lot of it. And this deck isn't, a, isn't an exception. There's a lot of beautiful body perfect people here too. Um, I didn't see a lot of chubby people like me. <laughs> but even though I didn't, I still really love this deck. And I love the deck because the details. Look at this artwork. Like seriously. You know, this artwork, the, just the, the sunrise in the background. Look at the... Um, the leaves, the gills on her fins, I mean, on her, um, on her tail, this is an amazing deck. And that's what I love about this is the artwork. I'm going to link underneath this as always, where you can get it if you want it is still for sale. And, um, I slept on this deck at first. Look at those pomegranates and that, that waterfall deep in the back. The details are just amazing. But I slept on this deck when I first saw it because, I mean, there are a lot of beautiful decks. There's a lot of beautiful decks. There's a lot of beautiful artwork out there. You know, so I was like, eh, okay, it's beautiful. And I only saw like two or three cards. So I was like, okay, it's attractive. But I'm very, very discerning about my tarot collection. I don't just buy a deck because it's attractive. It has to really wow me, seriously. I have like... I have a lot of decks. I'm not even going to tell you how many. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I have a lot of decks. Think hundreds, not thousands. Think hundreds. Um, and I am very discerning about what I bring into my collection now because I feel like just because a deck is cute doesn't mean I'm going to use it. And this deck I used all day. And that is not like me. I usually use a deck, a different deck. For every reading. I did three readings today and I used this deck for all three because I was just so stuck on it and I wanted to see more of the cards. I wanted to, you know, shuffle them a bit more. Um, oh, this card stock. Let me tell you about this card stock. This card stock feels like butter. I mean, it's gorgeous. Not a lot of glare, as you can see. Great for taking pictures. Um, this is the back of them. The backs are gorgeous. I love that back. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And um, they're beautiful. Here, let me give you... Card stock is good. Everything about this deck is just gorgeous. I love it. 
And if you really look deeply at this deck, I like the font that the uh, the words are written in, nice font. And if you really look deeply at the deck, what is really getting me is the sacred geometry in the back. It's the details. These details are phenomenal. Look at her clothes. Look at all the, the things you can see in her outfit. Whoever did this art is, I mean, should be, I hope they're in the art gallery. <laughs> I seriously do. This is gorgeous. Look at him. He reminds me of that guy from Wakanda. The one who was arguing with his wife. <laughs> I always thought that scene was so funny at the end when uh, he tried to make the the uh, animal he was riding, you know, knock her over. He was like, she feeds me. I'm not knocking her over, you know. And he stopped and licked her face. And I was laughing so hard. Look at her. Look like she has locks in her hair. Um, she's definitely a brown-skinned woman. I don't know if she's from like an island or what, but she's gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. The outfits are gorgeous. The details, look at that. The water, the cups, I'm like, I am just like gushing. It's so crazy, you guys. I get a new deck every so often, and I do a review, or if I buy them myself, I might not. I might just use them for my daily draws. But when I get a deck and I see the, look at the water, look at the sky, and I'm an artist. I'm not this good, though. <laughs> I guess I could be maybe one day. But um, just knowing what it takes to get pictures like this. I don't know if this is painting or if it's computer generated. I don't know what it is. All I know is I saw several of the cards online. And I was like, look at, look at these clouds. Look at this. This is amazing. Look at the lightning. This is amazing. But I was online and I was like, yeah, what is that? And I had to get it. Um, I got it on the website, which I'm going to give you guys underneath this video. And it came from Europe. It didn't take long either. I paid for it and it was here fairly quickly. Um, and I'm already in Costa Rica, so it didn't take long at all. And look at that. That chariot reminds me of Jon Snow. Anybody who's into Game of Thrones, I swear that reminds me of Jon Snow. So I paid for this baby, and before I knew it, it was here. So, and they look like they're African-American or African or something like that. I love the doves over top of them. The diversity. You can even see the shape of their toes. Like, <laughs> whoever did this was just like on point show off much <laughs> please do <laughs> please show off more look at that now everybody knows me the ace the cup suit the whole cup suit is my favorite um i love a lot of the cards but the cups is my favorite suit and if you do the cups right you definitely have my heart look at the emperor and i love like i don't really know if these outfits are authentic, you know, to the culture, but they they work for me. <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to ask, you know, the people in the cultures depicted, but they do work for me. Look at those pops of red coming out from the fruit. Look at the moon by her feet. Like, that's a high priestess. She has dominion over this realm. Gorgeous. And the wands, they all seem to have on similar outfits. So I'm thinking that they're from, I don't know if it's, I don't know. Oh, that's another thing. This does not come with a guidebook. I'm going to have to go to the website and see if there's even one available. Because I may actually spring for it just to know things like what island is that? Is this a fantasy island? Is it a real place? Now look at this. This one right here. You can literally see the rain coming down on this person. I mean, like, are you serious? So that's why I sat down to record this video. Because I was like, look, my friends cannot go. <laughs> my friends, anybody who wants to see this cannot go another day without seeing this. Look at the devil. Now, that's menacing. Very menacing looking. Very good job on that one. 
eight of pentacles. So he's in a, he's definitely an expert apprentice doing his thing. When pentacles come up in your reading, depending upon which card it is, is usually a good sign of prosperity. The king of wands. Look at him. He's from that, that uh, group I was talking about. So I don't know if they're African or from an island. I'm not sure. But yes, I'm, I'm for it. I'm all for all of this. Look at her. Look at her. This artwork is amazing amazing look at the king of cups you guys know how i feel about the cups look at the king poseidon's um weapon in his hand and a cup now check out this hermit you can see so much in this. And when you're doing a reading for someone, there's so much to pop and jump off of, you know? The bird, the lantern, his cloak. I mean, and he's uh, older. Usually the hermit is older. So we do have the hermit representing the masculine crone energy. King of coins. So I would say, if anything, I would give this deck if I had to honestly rate it, I would say 10 out of 10. Seriously, this is a beautiful deck. Look at this. Um, I think it could use some older people. I think it could also use some chubby people. <laughs> because look, you know, everybody here is really body perfect. Their bodies are really, on, you know, like no civilization has everybody with a perfect body so it would be nice to see like some people like me <laughs> it would be nice to see some people too that were like let's say in a wheelchair or things like that so a little bit more representation i think would take this deck over the top but i'm still i would still give it i would have to take off one point for that so let's give it a nine out of ten the one point is just the fact that it does need a little tweaking, just a little tweaking with the diversity. Everything else is on point. The color scheme is on point. The art is on point. This is a star. So for the Aquarius, that's your card. She's beautiful. Look at the sky and look at the North Star behind her. Her outfit. <laughs> the Aquarius always getting rid of that water, getting rid of that emotion. Like, let's pour this back. Don't want all this emotion. Look at that fire. Look at that fire, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Yeah, but like I said, just a little bit more diversity would, would make this 100%. You know, that's the only thing that I think about this. I think that I would love to see that. And I like that in any deck. Honestly, that's my critique of every single deck. I always look to see... Um, are there different body types? I look to see what genders are represented. Um, if non-binary people are represented, I look to see if people who are maybe in a wheelchair are represented. I look to see if different cultures are represented. I think that I, I've told you guys before that tarot should be as diverse as the planet, in my opinion. Now, mind you, it's only 78 cards, so you're not going to be able to represent every human being on the planet. But you can get some, you know, get a good majority of folks in there by just changing things like age. Like, for instance, they could have made her a crone. Same outfit, same look, same beauty. Just make her about 65 years old. Something like that. So a, a, a very simple tweak like that would give this deck 100%. That's it. I love this Eight of Wands. Whenever the Eight of Wands is going upward, that's my favorite. I love that because that's the way I see the energy is going forward fast. <laughs> Very quickly. The Page of Wands. He cute. Look at that little cutie pie. The first guy I ever dated had the same haircut. I can't. <laughs> many, many, many lives ago. I can't do it. Oh, my goodness. Now, look at this hanged man. The hanged man. It's like he's part of the tree. Like, he's been there so long. And when you look at Tarot, the hanged man is often stuck. So, he's been stuck for so long that he has grown into the tree. You've now become the tree. 
nice. I love her dress. That red dress is doing a lot of things for me. And I like the red in the back, the uh the rain in the background. I that's it's like two or three cards where I really picked up on the rain. I love that. And look at this moon behind her. She's beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's check out this fool. <laughs> so instead of jumping off of a cliff, he's on a wall, which is even worse. He got his companion with him. Yep. <laughs> Definitely has the energy of the fool. Foolish decisions. King of Swords. Mm, okay. Like that. Strong, very strong looking. Now let's check out her. Oh, she's pretty. I love her hair. She's fierce too. Not just pretty, but she'll kick your butt. <laughs> Look like she remind again. She reminds me the wand suit all reminds me of Wakanda. She reminds me of one of the ladies that guarded the king of Wakanda. That's cool. The curtains, the lighting, how he's able to manipulate the items on the table with just the sleight of his hand. Now that's a magician. Whoosh. That's a magician, baby. Three of Pentacles. Working hard. Working hard. Love it. The Knight of Pentacles. The Pentacles are the coins in this suit. Sometimes in Tarot, they change the name. It can be Pentacles. It can be coins. It can be stones. It can be crystals. They all represent material things, earthy things. You know, things along those lines. Um, that's why it just depends on who does the deck. But the original tarot deck, they were called pentacles. I see coins a lot. And coins does make sense because we don't call our money pentacles. <laughs> we call it, you know, we call it change. We call it, you know, coins, dollars, if you will. So it does make sense to change that. I have never heard somebody call their money pentacles. But then again, they might. I haven't been to every culture, so I'm not sure if anybody uses pentacles. Look at that page. Now, this one I like a lot because if you look at it, she's moving on to better times. But the blood on her dress indicates that whatever happened in the past was not good. It could have been murder. It was something bloody. And she's getting away from it. Hopefully escaping. And based on the, the, the skyline, it looks like she is escaping to a better time. Look at Justice. Beautiful. I like the swords in this deck too. The swords are very intricately done. Some of them have little rubies on the handle or sapphires or things like that. So I like that a lot. Now check out the background in this one. Look at that beautiful, the sun, I guess it's sunset or sunrise. I'm thinking sunset. Um, the beautiful rainbow. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And they're chilling on the beach, watching the sunset, enjoying his sweetie. I love it. Death card. Okay. Okay. With the big black wings. Those big black wings are on point. The death card doesn't generally mean death. I mean, it can mean death. It depends on the question that you ask. But in general, death means transformation. Oh, look at her. Hello. I love the way she's standing, too. She's got this little swag to her. Love her hair. Cutie pie. Um, so yeah, the death card doesn't generally mean death. It means transformation, kind of like a caterpillar, not a caterpillar, a, uh, what, what becomes a, a butterfly? I forgot what a butterfly is. It might be a caterpillar, but whatever it is, it's the, the, the metamorphosis when they become a butterfly going into the cocoon and coming out this beautiful butterfly. So a lot of times when people see that card, they get scared. And I'm like, no, nah, not in this situation. It, it actually is a good thing. The Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is always heartache, sorrow. You, you can tell by just looking at the picture. The rain, you know, that kind of thing. But what gets me about this is this, this is beautiful. 
the reds, the flowers. Like it's even though it's very difficult to look at, it is a beautiful card. And there is a lot of beauty in sadness and pain, especially if you use it to propel you forward, if you use it to create more wisdom and a better life. Another sword with those gorgeous handles. Love that. And then we have a little baby. Love the little baby with the sun in the background. That is too cute. Love that. I like her. She has braids in her hair. I used to wear braids all the time before I got locks. And she's carrying quite a heavy load, but she's hold she's <laughs> she's making it happen. She's got them, <laughs> she's got them close to her chest. She's making it happen. The nine of cups. Look at her. Talk about content. She's just chilling, swinging on her swing. She got cups, probably full of wine. Oh, yes. She having a good day, people. Well, look at her. The queen of cups. Equally as beautiful. And so as you can see what I was talking about, about the body perfect. This waist, I, I don't even know a human being whose waist is that small. Barbie's waist is that small. Uh, and there might be, because I have a cousin that's pretty thin. So there could be people with waist that are that small or maybe even smaller. But like I said, that's cool. You know, that, that represents that portion of the population. But where the chubby gal at? <laughs> I want to see somebody looking like me tonight. Yeah. And look at he's riding that huge um, bird. In the modern spell, what is it? The modern spell casters tarot. She has one of her knights riding a big bird too. I thought that was cool. Okay. I love the fire. I love fire. I love I do, I love candle magic. I love bonfires. I love fire. Two of cups. Beautiful. I love the water. Look at the look at the ripples in the water. That's what I mean about the details. Like, are you serious? We got one more after this. Look at the queen of coins. Now, if that doesn't say opulence and luxury, I don't know what does. Look at that around her neck. She got money. She got big money. That's why that coin's so big, because she got big money. And then the last one is this one. Two of Swords. So you've seen the card stock. Um, let me show you the box in case you want to see it. You saw the front when we first started. Uh, these are the, this is the side. It's a little glossy. And here's the back. Not easy to read with that glare, unfortunately. But I will give it a go. So if you want to read this, you can. Okay, so this is the graphic artist back here, too. Let me see something. Let me pull it closer to me and see. Oh, it's more than one graphic artist. Lucas and Garciana, it looks like. It looks like they did it to I guess they get it together. They're beautiful. And the card stock is silk matte lamination 120 times 75 M right there. If you want to know about the card stock, that's it right there. But like I said, there's no guidebook in here. So I'm going to have to actually go to the website to see if there's one available because I would like to see a guidebook. So if you know how to read tarot, you don't really need the guidebook. But I want it because I want to know, like, are these fantasies? I want to know are these real groups of people. I want to ask more questions. <laughs> you know, You know how I am. So that is the Elemental Wisdom Tarot. So if this is your jam, if this is your kind of art, I strongly suggest it. I'll put a link underneath it that has the price and the website. You can go take a look at it. But um, I'm glad I bought it. I'd buy it again. Seriously, I'm very glad that I bought it. It's a beautiful deck, and it's an excellent contribution to anybody's collection. Um, there are a lot of decks like this, very beautiful, very, very glamorous kind of decks. But this one, for me, 
it's the details. And I've only seen like one or two other artists really get the details like that. So thank you for being here. Come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See ya.